As promised, here is the next installment in our ongoing series about dishonest law enforcement officers who were ultimately brought to justice. We will introduce you to an officer who has previously held the position of commissioner for the longest time and was honored with a title of knight. He's none other than Terrence Murray Lewis, and he was born in the state of Queensland. Terrence Murray Lewis was a former police commissioner who served in the state of Queensland, Australia, during a period of tremendous political and social turmoil. Lewis served in this capacity during the 1970s and 1980s. During his time in office, he led a number of high-profile investigations and reforms. Nonetheless, his legacy has been tarnished by claims of corruption and scandal. In this, we will investigate the life of Terence Lewis, as well as his influence on the Queensland Police Service and the controversies that have followed him up till the present day. Terence Lewis was born in 1929 in the town of Lismore, which is located in the state of New South Wales. In 1952, following the completion of his education, he enlisted in the Queensland Police Service and worked his way up through the ranks to eventually become a detective. In 1976, he was given the position of Commissioner of Police, taking over for Ray Whitrod, who had resigned from the position earlier that year in protest over political meddling in the department. While Lewis was serving as a police commissioner, a number of noteworthy investigations and changes were carried out during his term. In the late 1970s, under his direction, the Queensland Police Academy was established. This institution's mission was to enhance the education and professionalism of law enforcement officers working in the state of Queensland. In addition to this, he made adjustments to the organization and management of the police force to enhance both its productivity and its degree of public responsibility. During his time as commissioner, Lewis was in charge of a number of high-profile investigations. One of these was the investigation into the fire at the Whiskey A Go Go nightclub in 1973, which resulted in the deaths of 15 people. In addition, he was a significant contributor to the inquiry that was conducted into the disappearance of anti-development activist Juanita Nielsen, in the year 1975, these investigations contributed to the establishment of Lewis and his reputation as a stern and capable law enforcement officer in the community. Lewis's reputation has been tainted by claims of corruption and wrongdoing, even though he's enjoyed a great deal of success in his life. He was implicated in the Fitzgerald Inquiry, which was a significant inquiry into corruption and misconduct within the Queensland Police Service and the state government in the early 1990s. The investigation turned up evidence of pervasive corruption and misconduct, including bribery, extortion, and coordination between law enforcement agents and criminal organizations. Lewis was suspected of accepting bribes from members of organized crime and using his position as a police commissioner to shield those individuals from investigation and prosecution for their alleged involvement in criminal activity. In addition to this, it was alleged that he attempted to obstruct the inquiry into the murder of anti-development activist Shirley Briffman in the year 1972. The Fitzgerald Inquiry was created in 1987 to investigate allegations of corruption and misconduct within the Queensland Police Force. It was also known as the Commission of Inquiry into possible illegal activities and associated police misconduct at the time it was established. The investigation was initiated as a direct response to the considerable public concern regarding the operations of the police, which included claims of abuse of power, bribery, and corruption. Throughout the investigation, a number of high-ranking police officers, including Lewis, were found to be involved in unethical behavior and practices. The investigation uncovered evidence of pervasive corruption inside the police force, including the taking of bribes, the making of false statements under oath, and the protection of illegal enterprises. It was determined that Lewis was a significant player in the investigation, he was suspected of taking bribes from brothel owners and other members of the criminal underworld, as well as using his position to shield these people from legal repercussions for their actions. Lewis initially rejected all of the claims that were made against him. Nevertheless, in 1989, he was charged with perjury and corruption related to the allegations. Following a finding of conviction on many counts, he was given a sentence of 14 years in jail. 
After having served his whole sentence, Lewis was finally freed from prison in 2003. After he was released, he withdrew from public life in major part. Nevertheless, he did provide a number of interviews in which he attempted to justify his acts and reputation. During these interviews, Lewis stated that he had never been corrupt and that he had always behaved in the best interest of the police department and the general public. Lewis maintained his stance throughout the investigation. In addition to this, he voiced his displeasure with the Fitzgerald inquiry, claiming that it was excessively prejudiced against him and that it had unfairly targeted other members of the police force as well. The investigation was a watershed moment in the history of the Queensland police force. It resulted in substantial reforms and changes to the way that the force was constituted and operated, both of which were a direct result of the Fitzgerald inquiry. With a strong dedication to transparency, accountability, and community policy, the Queensland Police Force is largely considered one of the most professional and effective police forces in Australia today. Even while the events that took place during the Fitzgerald inquiry may have been a bleak chapter in the history of the force, they ultimately contributed to the development of a police department that is more just and accountable to the people of Queensland. Terence Murray Lewis has left behind a legacy that is convoluted and controversial. On the one hand, he was a devoted and hardworking police officer who, throughout his time as a commissioner, oversaw a number of key investigations and changes. On the other side, his reputation has been sullied as a result of the claims of corruption and improper behavior that had been hurled against him. The Fitzgerald inquiry shed light on long-standing flaws inside the Queensland police force, as well as the broader political and social culture of the state. Lewis's involvement in these problems has cast a lengthy shadow on his career as a result of the inquiry's findings. He was a controversial man, is still being discussed and analyzed in modern times. The lessons that may be drawn from his biography are intricate and multi-layered, and they highlight the persistent necessity for vigilance, accountability, and reform in the pursuit of justice and the upkeep of social order. Although he's remembered for his contributions to the force, notably the development of the SWAT squad, his legacy is overshadowed by the revelations of corruption and misconduct that emerged during the Fitzgerald inquiry. Lewis was found guilty of corruption and perjury. The court gave him a 14-year sentence. So what exactly was his legacy? Was it worth it? What did he leave in the long run? This only goes on to prove how important it is to remain transparent. The events that took place during the Fitzgerald inquiry opened the eyes of the Queensland police force to realities which they thought were not possible. As a result, the method in which the force was organized and administered underwent significant reforms and adjustments as a direct result of these events. It's one of the most professional police forces in Australia today, and they have a strong desire to work tirelessly to protect and serve. This is due to the force's strong emphasis on a community-oriented approach to policy. The legacy of Terence Murray Lewis is a crucial reminder of the need for continued vigilance and reform in law enforcement, particularly as the state continues to struggle with issues of police accountability and wrongdoing.